Ultra Massive on Amazon now. That's not what I said to do. That thing, it did not listen to my directions. Welcome to Classic Game Room. What happens when you combine Star Wars with Dodgem and Pac-Man on the TI-99? You get Car Wars. Which is a terribly frustrating but addictive game that's a lot of fun, so let's check it out. I am Master of Car Wars! I am the King of Space! Feel the power of the Force. F-O-R-S. It's Car Wars! On the TI-99, an excellent Dodgem clone. It's actually been a while since I've played Dodgem, and I'm really pleased to have discovered this game, so thank you to my friend David from Pittsburgh, stationed in Germany in the Air Force, for sending this along with the TI-99. Car Wars is, in addition to being an amusing title for a game, a great game. Yeah! Woo! Because as you can see, it's like Pac-Man with little cars and lots of head-on collisions. What's not to love? <laughs> Why must it always be a head-on collision? The cartridge design isn't very exciting, and neither is the menu. The sound effects are terrible, but the gameplay is hard as nails and very, very addictive, so watch out. What you do in this game is probably fairly obvious. You eat all of the dots while avoiding the other car, who is always trying to run into you. The other car is clearly drunk, and will choose whatever lane you're going into, or whatever lane you're in at the time, and crash directly into your face. You know how I'm always complaining that people who use brakes in driving games are complete cowards? Car Wars could really use a brake. So admittedly, I am a complete coward, but there's no way to stop if you find the opposing car in your lane, you just crash into them. So the only way to survive is to stay out of their way. You can change two lanes at one time the other idiot driver can only change one. But then, the game gives you a giant middle finger. The first level is pretty easy once you figure out a pattern. And the same can be said with the second level. In fact, in any level, you, you, you get a pattern that works for you. Holding down the TI-99 fire button will accelerate, you'll drive faster. Laying off the button will not break, but it will slow you down, so use that strategically. Woo! Uh, they release the opposing drivers in different lanes depending on which level it is. And then by round three, you get two drunk drivers trying to kill you at the same time. So it's like they're both seeing double, but combined, the dog barks. No, that's not what I said to do! You didn't listen! Thank you, Stella. Bark again. <laughs> Dogs are so dumb. But you are not dumb if you play Car Wars, because this game has a giant Star Wars reference right in the title. Impressive. Most. Impressive. It's a fun game because I love the, strateg the strategy of trying to keep the other car two lanes away from you at all times. So it's just like driving in New Jersey. If they made this game today, it would be called Distracted Driver. Stop checking your Twitter feed in traffic! <laughs> car Wars. I love these old school clones of other games on the game systems like TI-99 and Odyssey 2 and Arcadia 2001. The background is white, so it's a totally different game than those other ones. Car Wars. Highly recommended. Lots of fun. As always, thank you for watching. Classic Game Room is on Patreon. Classic Game Room Barware is at ClassicGameRoom.com. And my books, Surf Panda, Jesus the Coked Up Chicken Number 2, and Retro Megatrex are on Amazon.com.
Welcome to the Patreon Lord Carnage Club being shouted from a turbo volcano. Michael and Ariana Nelson, Ian Shore, Stephen Chucknick, Al Stever, Rick DeBarros, Jason Goy, Andy Schleiss, Sergio Matthias Hergert, Philip Straubenmuller, Jack Stavris, Ohad Kane, Simon Allen, and Sean Zoltek.